Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tanaya, known as Modest Guru, and today I'll be showing you some new drugstore products. For the first product, this is Milani Cosmetics Prime Protect SPF 30 Primer. This is my first time trying a SPF 30 primer. So I can honestly say I loved this product. The consistency was definitely there. It was very hydrating, which made me feel like it was going to do its job of protecting my skin. Absolutely recommend it. Now going in with Milani Cosmetics Stay Put Brows. This is in the shade Medium Brown. I compared this brow pomade to one of my favorites, which is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. And this is a great dupe for that brand I can say like this product is amazing my brows stay put all day exactly what the name says it does um, it's it's like really fine so it doesn't take a lot of product um, in order to achieve the look that you want so I love to do like a feathered brow I have very very light eyebrows by the way I know you can see you can tell it's okay you can tell but I like to create hair like hair like strokes. And so this product, this was it. I mean, they they really did their thing with this product. Definitely quality. So go to your local drugstore and check it out. I feel like you'll love it too. Now for the brushes, I'm trying Juvia's Place makeup brushes. This is a black owned business as well as Fenty Beauty's. Pro Filter Concealer. They're also a black owned beauty brand as well. I have had these brushes for quite some time now, but this is my first time actually using Juvia's Places brushes. And I love the quality of their brushes. It's very dense. Um, so I feel like a little product goes a long way. I found that the best method to use their brushes would be to apply a little bit of spray just because it's so dense that you want it to you know spread your product evenly throughout um just throughout your skin so i love it i mean i would purchase these brushes again and now they're definitely in my um my personal makeup collection Now here's the finished product of my eyebrows. I love eyebrows, so I'm just, I'm so happy with this look already. One of my favorite foundations is Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Lower Foundation. And yes, it does exactly what they, the name states it do. Like, this foundation is so beautiful. I love how buildable the coverage is. It's, for me, I love a light to medium build when it comes to my coverage. I don't like it to be too full coverage, not in the summertime anyway. So I can really appreciate how buildable this coverage is. Um, I only had to use about one and a half squirts of like just like pumps of this foundation and I can still see my freckles. It was so flawless when it was like all of said and done. Um, so yes, I 100% recommend this black owned business by Fenty Beauty. Uh, definitely check out your local Sephora for their products or purchase from their website. Now I'm going in with Milani. This is their perfect concealer. This is my first time trying this concealer. Um, Milani is not black owned, but their products do have a very diverse and range of melanin when it comes to melanin shades. So I can appreciate that uh, from the brand. So I purchased this concealer as a contour and then I also went in with Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Concealer. Now the highlight of this, I feel like the highlight of this um, video is definitely the Beauty Bakery Blending Eggs. The packaging is just so adorable. Look at how cute these blending sponges are. and. I was just very curious to see the quality so I went ahead and purchased um, a pack of them 
which is you know this egg basket that it comes in and I wet the sponge just to see like is this a sponge that I can get used to using on a day-to-day -day basis and I was just amazed um, I was able to blend in my products effortlessly I cannot wait to try this uh, blending sponge as well on my clients since I am a makeup artist in Charlotte North Carolina by the way but yes I highly recommend these beauty sponges um, I think they were $18 no more than $20 uh, so a great price To set my face, I'm using Beauty Bakery Setting Flower. This is their translucent setting flower. The packaging is adorable for one, and also the product is literally like a baking powder. I felt like my skin automatically told me when it was time to take off the powder, which I would, you know, I would compare it to, you know, the same situation when you're baking, you know, when to take something out of the oven. So I have literally found a brand new black owned business that I absolutely adore and it's Beauty Bakery. I feel like I've found a new setting powder quality. It is so fine and it doesn't take a long time to set your, set your makeup. And so I usually like to, you know, highlight just the same areas where I have concealer at and I don't want to leave it on too long I mean it is summer months but I have on a hydrating um, foundation I also have on a hydrating concealer so I want to go ahead and make sure that I still you know have that glow to my skin Supporting a local queen in the Queen City, I'm using Gorgeously Chic Eyeshadow Palette by my girl Autumn Sanders. She is an amazing entrepreneur in Charlotte, North Carolina. Look at the quality of this palette. The color range is there, like every single shades of pink, very natural eyeshadow palette that I feel I could just wear out. And the quality is insane. So I'm going to apply this settled pink into my lid. I, well, I'm going to apply it on my lid as a transition shade. Now I'm going to brighten up the crease just a little bit by choosing a shade right beside it, uh, which would also be a nude color. And so this brightens it up just a little bit.
now for this look i'm creating a cut crease look but i still want it to be very pink and sultry so i'm going in with the fenty beauty concealer and i'm going to carve out my cut crease Using the shimmer, the light shimmer pink shade, I'm going to apply this on my cut crease. And I mean, it just brings out like so, so much sexiness to me. I feel, I love a sultry look. I just feel like it's so beautiful. It's so effortless. So I apply this on the cut crease and going in with the darker shimmer color. It's a, it has a red undertone, so it's a pinkish red tone. I apply this just to the outer corner of my cut crease and I blend it out. Yes, we giving looks all summer. Like this is just so pretty and pink. Now I use the white eyeshadow. It's more of a like an off-white and I apply it to the brow bone just to kind of lift and brighten it up. And then going back in with the same shade I applied for the transition color of my eyeshadow, I apply it to the bottom lash line. Now I'm using the Beauty Bakery Mascara. This is the eyelash icing. So cute, look at the brush. Now, I can say my eyelashes are super small, so I can't wait to try this mascara on top of my, um, once my eyelash extensions are complete. Now I'm using Milani's Cosmetic Baker Blush, and this is in Rose Diora. Now this shade is a rose gold with a shimmer shade, like with a shimmer to it. I'm just taking it back. Just how beautiful this look came together. And for my lips, I'm using Milani Color Statement Lip Liner. This was a very natural tone, or new tone color that has a hint of pink in it. So I love just how much it complements this look. For another highlight from Gorgeously Chic is their statement lip gloss, which is called Bagum. I mean, now that's the perfect name for this gloss. It is a like a very pretty purplish pink tone lip gloss, and the formula is so great. Like I love carrying this lip gloss in my bag. Gotta keep it in my bag, you know. Bagum, have to. So. I'm just so impressed by this look. Going in with Beauty Bakery baking spray. Y'all, look at look at me. Oh my goodness. I did not follow the instructions. I was supposed to have it like eight to ten inches away from my face. And I got sprayed. But it's cool because you know it's okay. It happens. But yes, you guys, this is the final look. I mean, I pulled it all together. My face got sprayed, but we, we did the damn thing. I mean, let me know what you guys think about this look. I absolutely love you guys. This is my pretty and pink look. I mean, so stunning, so flawless. And the key thing, it is effortless. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos and I'll see you next time.